I never did figure out how to get get into this one. Like, complete mystery to me. But that's okay. Like I don't I don't have to figure everything out. I mean, as far as I can tell, almost every upgrade is is findable. Just randomly. It's not like they're placed in specific locations. For better or worse. This treasure finding upgrade would have been mad handy if I had uh, started the game with it. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go down. I, I just wanted to see what one of the uh, purple challenge rooms was like in this area. Because I want to say I did one of them once ish and died horribly. And I want to see what it gives me. It'll probably give me one of the perks that I don't have. The neat part is we can just one-shot everything. Okay, so when I do get hit, I explode for damage. I wonder how much damage. The answer is, I don't think these guys are capable of hurting me. I could just sit here and just let the retaliatory shields win the day for me. Okay, those traps hurt a little bit more. All right, what do we get? Yep, new perk, shield piercer. So, had I been finding those, uh, these like purple rooms more often, we would have filled out our whole, whole ability list. Well, unless I absolutely have to, I probably am not going to go out of my way to do much grinding here. Like, it'd be neat to get every ability up to rank three, but I just, I don't think I've got the time or the interest for that. However, I will absolutely see everything that there is available to see. Okay, so we got a locked room there. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm here. We want to go down. I'm really curious what we got over here. It sounds like we're probably supposed to go in from the bottom, because this is just straight up locked. Yeah, okay, so whatever whatever's on the other side of this, we gotta open up from the other side. Probably should have checked this out like a long time ago, but that's that's okay. I just wanna go down. Fortunately we have too many abilities, it makes it really easy to uh to get like weirdly off track. I'm gonna keep getting these just just in hopes that I can max up my my upgrade tree. Where will this stuff come from? Not a clue. Okay. Oh, did I miss I missed. I forgot that I have to open this door. I was like, I've been through here before, I don't care. Turns out I kind of should. Alright, I might as well get my ammo back at the very least. I don't know, I'm still torn on the whole, like, New Game Plus thing. What I might do is just look up the, uh... Uh, look up the ending. And just go with that. I, I don't know what the, uh, the differences are, but I don't... I don't know. It's also, I've got, like, a billion other games to play. I'm just, like, I'm, ac I'm actually finding myself enjoying this again. I mean, I always did. Uh, I've just, I've been kind of burning out lately on a lot of things. I find a lot of it has to do with, like, the harder the games I have to play, the, uh, more burnt out I can get. Because the, the biggest deal is, uh, the biggest problem I ha have with, like, uh, games is if I get stuck on one, I, I'm just, like, what do I do? I guess I just stay stuck there forever. For most people, you guys can just, like, um, put it down if it, if a game makes you rage quit. But I'm not nearly so lucky. Okay, so what do we have over here? So this is the pit, unfinished excavation. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, right. I forgot. I can literally fly. I've got jetpacks and all sorts of things. This is kind of trivial. I guess it's... For, oh, jeez. That was a special golden one. Makes sense, actually. These guys are... Yeah, these are Telexes. So they're a new type... God damn it. It was one of those where I was trying to get up, but I kept uh, hanging onto the edge. So this, this is a new breed of actually deadly enemies now. Hence why I'm making tons and tons of uh, shards. Okay, I just want to go down and over. Ah, crap, pipe. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of these, like, golden upgrade... Or, not golden upgrade orbs. Uh, golden treasure orbs. Just kind of lying around here. Ow. I should probably actually kill some of these things. Dee hee. Because they've got some range. Might actually make this one of the most dangerous places. I've always kind of thought about that. The, uh... What would... What would this place be like if they had remixed the difficulty and had this be like the last zone? I guess this is our, uh, this is our, uh, you know, best example. Sorry if you guys are hearing massive amounts of button mashing. Just, you know, try not to die. Okay, let's get uh, away from the gunners. I've got whole rooms worth of dudes here. I, I kind of want to get the treasure orbs because it feels like they might have something useful in them. But I think it's just going to be money. Lots and lots of money. It would be nice if these things actually had um, upgrade bits in them. Like as, a, as kind of a last ultra hard finale of... By the way, here's all that stuff you missed. God damn it, I just want to go down! Stop! Oh. It's because we're... There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's... We're getting knocked back by the guns. Well, I think this is my answer. Don't go for the... Uh, don't go for the treasure orbs. They are very much not worth. Because, like, hot damn, the knockback on some of these guys is absurd. I wonder if the, uh, the heavy caliber upgrade would actually make it so I'm, st I'm steadier against all things. That, that'd be a nice trade-off. Like a really nice trade-off. Okay, so what have we got in here? What's with this? Oh. Corrupted remains of something or other. What is this? Press B. Oh. Okay. So, I have a charge. It does a ton of damage. Holy crap, that's actually, like, kind of amazing. Where was this earlier? Because I absolutely... Oh, God, this game would have been so much better if they had, like, a bunch of those kind of weird combo abilities that you have to unlock. How many of those have I missed? Probably in an uncomfortable level I don't want to think about. I've noticed sometimes with my, um... I like warp business. I will just get hung up on a 
on like a section and it sucks. I guess I should probably go back to the second area. I feel like there's... I've missed something. If... We, if we've got an area like this... I guess there was that area in the bottom right corner in the third area that we never properly explored. How much... See, how many secrets have I missed over the course of this game? Because the answer is probably not going to make me happy. Because I thought it was just going to be the Elder Shards, but it sounds like they've, uh... They've outdone themselves. With, uh... Not pointlessly obtuse secret spots, but, uh... With various secret spots for me to find and then be mad that I never found them. Or is that... Was that the only one of its kind? Hard to say. I mean, it looks like we've cleared out the area. Okay. Well, that was a little bit more of an experience than I was expecting. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other uh, spots, so we we got it. As far as I can tell, we are we are fully elder sharded out. I I should look this up because well, let's level up. We'll see. I, I don't know. I just, I hate the idea of missing things, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm standing at the precipice of victory. So I feel like I should just go embrace victory and then just accept that I missed stuff. Is that it? Nope. No, we've still got two nodes left. All right. I don't... I don't wanna, uh... We should probably take a look at all that's happened. So we still have Shield Overdrive rank one. That uh, sucks, I'd love to upgrade it. We're still missing a, quite a number of perks. Okay, Sharp Edge, melee damage by 25%. I mean, some of those are nuts. Your attacks ignore shields, but lowers my regeneration by, rate by 50%. Berserk. Eh. Harvester. Okay, so reduces my armor by 20, but 3% of my damage as health, so yeah, that sets my armor at 56. We also have Energy Absorb. Okay. And Executioner increases your crit damage by 400%, but it, redu Ugh. But it reduces melee and cannon damage by 40. Eh, screw it. Whatever I've missed, I've missed. Who knows, this could be a whole new area. Not betting on it, though. Okay, so we're in this kind of bizarro shadow realm filled with dudes that want us dead. Interestingly enough, it's filled with Val Valkyrie security measures. I guess it makes sense. Whatever whatever's sealed away is something that... Uh, is probably something they did not want people to see. Oops. Or didn't, did not want to see, did not want uh, to escape bit of both, really? So we just have this, like, little farming gauntlet. Unless these are... Unless these are not Valkyrie security measures, but they've got that, like, uh... They've got that, like, mechanical feel to them that, uh, the rest of the city did not have. I think this is one of those games where I'd actually really love to see the, uh... Another one of those games where I'd love to have seen the, like... Society before it crumbled. Just to know, like, what the hell this place was.
So we just have a series of like weird fighty challenges. Oh, where we fight. Okay, so there's only three. That's good. I will admit these like little fighty challenges are, they're not boring, but it's kind of one of those where it's like, at the same time, I would enjoy just fighting the boss and being done with it, but I guess they can't make it that easy on me. Though I've definitely made it easier on myself by maxing up my tree. And even if I don't manage to max up my tree, at the end of this, I most definitely will. But yeah, I've gotta, I gotta stay away from using my ammo. Gotta stay away from using my ammo, gotta stay away from using my, uh, my heals. I use those and we are going to have, uh, we are going to have a much harder time. Okay, this jerk is kind of super inconvenient. I mean, luckily, I can just wait for my shields to come back and I haven't taken a whole lot of damage. Okay, there we go. It's interesting that we land every once in a while. Let me go this way. Okay, so cannot fall here. We've got the crazy, noxious, whatever nonsense. I'm still disappointed that Cthulhu isn't going to save the world here. Because that is like... I don't know, there's just something amusing about that as a plotline. I guess really I should probably go play Cthulhu Saves the World, considering I know that's like a actually decent game. Or, it's, it's lauded as, like, actually fairly good. I'd have to see what those developers have done since, because they put out, um, Breath of Death 4 and Cthulhu Saves the World, and then that was kind of the end of it. Unless they've made other games since, and I just haven't been paying attention. They could have gone the way of, was it, Gaslamp Games? The, uh, the Dungeons of Dreadmore developers and just, like, more or less fallen apart released like a really shitty like kind of weird sandbox community simulator game and then just realized oh wait shit this is terrible oh okay it gotta gotta stay away from those dive attacks here because nothing would suck more than to to get thrown back here I do hope that I never have to I do hope that I don't have to uh, do this again like, if I, if I have to do this every time I lose, I'm going to be so crankle. Because, like, I don't really want to, I don't really want to just have to do this, like, gauntlet every single time I fight, uh, I want to fight, like, the, the last boss. That's what you had to do in, like, Mega Man, and I never quite liked that. It was a cool segment, like, you know, the, the classic boss rush before the boss thing, but, like... If you have, I mean, it takes a lot of effort. And I guess I did it a lot as a kid, but as a kid, like, I had more free time, so it didn't matter. I don't know. Well, we got a loading screen. That's a good sign. So this is a giant boss arena. I'm just gonna fly over here. Huh. Hi? But that's someone else. That's us. Ah, shit.
Okay. So this is this is me. But I have cannon. I have cannon, ton of stamina, and everything else is good. So I have to fight my good self. Well, this whole cannon nonsense makes life a lot easier. Alright. So, oh. The f fuck? Alright, I have to fight humanity. Nope, I have to fight humanity, the crystal, while fighting that monstrosity. Okay. Destroys my shields, too. At least I can get some stamina, but ow. Ow. Yow. Yow. Somebody said this boss fight would be harder. They were not lying. I... God damn, I hope I never have to see this again. Unfortunately, there's no way I'm winning this right now. I'm trying so hard, but I think ultimately I'm going to have to do it again with different upgrades. My god. That sucked. How am I supposed to do that? I am, like, capped out. I also can't use my cannon. I see why this is harder. Is that it? Have I missed a single node here? I was expecting to get an achievement for this. Huh. Strangely... Yeah, no, no achievement for completely maxing out the, uh, the skill tree. Unless I've missed a spot, which... For the life of me, I, I don't think I have. One way or another. Uh, we got some things we gotta switch. Specifically, shield overdrive probably isn't that useful. I actually don't know which which of these I'd want. I mean, like, Sharp Edge could be helpful. Harvester is very important. Shield or Absorb is useless. I can't, like, double up on Nemesis, can I? Nah, dang. It, maybe if I had a higher rank of Shield Overdrive, or maybe whatever these other perks are. Because I'm missing three. And upgrade more. I just, I'm not a big fan of the idea of some of them. Well, I guess I might as well get tough skin. Crank my, ar my armor all the way up to 74. So that's health. Damage. Uh, reduced health, but more armor. Damage and whatnot. Yeah, alright. The best I can do. So the next thing I want to check is do I have to redo that entire gauntlet, or can I just go into fighting humanity right off the bat? Good. We can just go into fighting humanity right off the bat. So I'm going to give it one more shot, and then, uh, might have to go do some research. Okay. Yeah, nice part is, I am... I don't need my cannon. At all. Because, like, as much as... As much as I'd like my cannon here... Uh, against the boss... It's just not going to do me a lick of good. Because 
I have to fly. Well, this is easy. This is not. This is gross shit. So I, I literally have to, like, kill humanity or something. Well, damage has increased. Incredibly since last. I mostly just have to make sure I don't take too much damage. Okay. Didn't know it, it could do that. Definitely didn't know it could do that. Yeah, so I think when it's, uh... All goopy like that. There's nothing I can do but, uh... There's nothing I can do but to just find a safe spot to hang out. Okay. At least we get most of our HP back and we don't have to worry about our shields. I'll just be right here. Okay, and then it's gonna go back. Cost me a bit of my shields, but that's okay. Because I can just get back here and not have to worry about much. And we've got the uh, teleport nonsense, which helps incredibly. Just stay here with me, please. Okay, I guess I'll just be here for a moment. Well, my health is full. My shields are up. Okay, and since I warped, we had a little bit of iframes there, which is nice stuff. All right, we've pissed it off. I don't know how I've pissed it off, like, what exactly it's going to do, but that's, that's fine. Shields are doing okay. I'll just be here, I guess. Ow. Triple ow. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, that's one of those situations where I can't do much about anything. I just gotta deal with it. be down here. Okay. Shields are going okay. Just gotta make sure I don't do anything particularly bad. Pissed off. But that's fine, because I more or less have free reign to do whatever I want. For like a second here, at last. Was that it? Or do we have a bonus boss? Well, we have the bad ending. That's for certain. Oh, that was fun. I guess we didn't get double-crossed. We just 
We did what the guy wanted. We became the Eldritch Horror Abomination that, uh, I guess, destroyed the world. We became, effectively, Sarah Kerrigan. Why not? Well, that was... really fun. I, I'm still on the wall about new game, uh, doing a new game of this. I... I could probably find cheat codes so I just have everything. That, that would work. Like, um... You know, not all the corrupted abilities, but it... You know, just infinite shards, because I, I just don't feel like grinding again. You really don't need it as much. Like I'm actually kind of surprised there w there was not that that uh, that much required to do so. But even then, so I'd I'd probably want to go into it with a max kitted out like upgrade just just for sake of like speed and whatnot. So now we have to wait. Oh, oh, it's not even in order. That's obnoxious. So, I actually kickstarted this game. Hell if I'm gonna know. Oh, secret beta backers. I was not part of the secret beta backers. So th those are just the uh, the random people. So now we're gonna have to figure out exactly where uh, where I am on this list. Cause yeah, I. I saw this game and I thought, yeah, this looks like it was worth kickstarting. And was it worth kickstarting? I don't know. I liked it. I'm glad. I hope uh, Thunder Lotus learns a little bit more about, like, um, you know, make sure that the gameplay through and through is good. Because I think you guys did an absolutely wonderful job, if you guys are watching this. Uh, there's just that that small amount of, of like... I don't know. I just wanted to see like more specific locales because the boss fights, a lot of this stuff was so wonderfully designed and it always felt like the procedural generation was holding this back, maybe. But yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I just, I, I regret nothing. This was a fun game and I absolutely want to see whatever they come up with next. No, oh, I didn't want to skip it. Shit. I want to see if I can speed it up so I can find myself and... Welp. So if I just do this, it throws me back. So there is no g new game plus. We just get the ability to get the bad ending again. All right, I'll think about it. Uh, either that, or if one of you guys wants to send me your footage for the good ending, that that work too. I don't know. I don't know how many people are are like up for doing that sort of thing. I guess I could find it on my own or go watch it. I mean, you guys can probably go find it on YouTube. I'm gonna go watch the good ending uh, after this. Maybe if it was more impactful and there was like more of a story element to it. I don't know. One way or another, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, this has been a lot of fun, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.